Oh, do you know you can put out a candle for about blowing on it? Let me show you. First you'll need a candle, matches and a bowl. Get a gone up to light the candle and be careful. Dad, can you please light the candle? Of course, Isabel. So I'm going to use a chef's torch that I use to make creme brulee for mummy. Okay. There you go. And then carefully put a bowl over it and the fire will go out. So what we've done here is by putting the bowl over the top, we've stopped any more oxygen in the air getting in. And once the candle burns through all of the oxygen, it will go out. So a candle needs a few things to burn. It needs a fuel source, so that's the wax. It needs ignition, heat to start off the reaction, and it needs oxygen. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm gonna show you how to make plastic and out of milk. First you'll need milk, a bowl, a spoon, and some vinegar. So this experiment works best when you have hot milk, so I've just warmed this up for Isabel. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Now pour some, vi pour some vinegar in and mix it around. Milk has lots of good stuff in it, including protein called casein. When you put the vinegar in the milk, it causes the casein to clump together and it's something called a polymer. And so that's kind of like a plastic, as you can see here. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm gonna show you how to make glue. It is my favorite experiment. First you'll need corn flour, water and a spoon. Slowly pour the water into the corn flour and mix it around. And keep mixing around, mixing it around and it'll get a bit hard. So what we've created here is a non-Newtonian fluid. It's something that changes from solid to liquid depending on how much force you put into it. You can see as Isabel pushes the spoon in, it becomes really hard. That's because all of the water is pushed out of the way and the corn molecules clump together. But then when she lets it go and stops putting force into it, it forms into a liquid creating goo. 